really good. We back. We are live. Courtney, what's up? You. We are live. We've got some images of the upcoming Fire Red Force. The Fire Red Force releasing Black Friday. Black Friday. This is a big deal right here. Um, some people are saying the color is too bright. We've seen some stock images and some heads were like, ah, I don't know. Maybe it's just the stock images. But now these are actual photos that are around the internet right now, making the rounds. And um, I wanted to check in with you all and I wanted to see how do you feel about these images right here? Is it too bright? Let me know. Does it look a little bright or is it just right? Leave it in the comments, leave it in the chat, and let me know where you repping at because I do want to know for sure, for sure. VA, what's really good? Salute to VA. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good? Chat. Salute to everyone up in here. We all live and direct. The question right now is, people, are these too bright or no? They perfect. Complete perfection. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. We all live from the casa. Let me know if you are digging this or is it a little too bright for the eyes. I like them. I'm digging them. NC, what up to NC in the building? Salute. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good? He says, must cop. I saw other images and it looked just right. And some looked a little off, but I'm still copping. Yes, it reminds me of Bright Crimson a little bit. No shock drop. No shock drop. Henry says, straight fire. We do have a link, too. Anyone wants to cam up, feel free. The link is all the way in the bottom of the description. And we do have my sneaker attic t-shirts. Till tomorrow, 20% off. Use the code FALL. That's linked in the description, too. I like the bright. The brighter, the better. These are going to pop like crazy on feet. That's for damn sure. That's for sure. Everyone, we here on a Saturday night, chilling at the house. We about to make it to the sneaker room in just a second. I just really wanted to focus on these images. And then once we get to the five minute mark, we're going to um, get into some sneakers. We're just going to take it to the sneaker room right here. Uh, shout out to my dude over here, man. Shout out to Tyler Hero. <laughs> What's up with that face, right? That face is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, man, this uh, show is going to be a big deal. This is going to be a very difficult pickup. Um, I don't even care if they make a lot of pairs. They're, they're going to be very hard to buy. You already know what time it is with these kicks. It's very difficult to buy sneakers nowadays. And um, it's going to be extremely difficult to pick these up. That's one thing for sure, one thing for certain. So um, good luck trying to get them, for real. Because... Um, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be an easy process. That's for sure. A lot in his Floyd dumb and dumber voice. Classic. They came out with some Funko Pops, dumb and dumber Funko Pops. If you're a fan of Funko, definitely um, be on the lookout for that. I don't know if you guys collect Funko Pop or not, but they did come out with one. You may want to look out for that because it's pretty dope. You know, and um, we about to set this camera up. We are in my sneaker room and um, leave your comments, leave your thoughts. And please hit the thumbs up button. It takes one second to do and it helps me out so much. It helps the channel. Just takes a second to do. Please hit the thumbs up if you happy that I'm live kicking it with you all on a Saturday. I tell you one shoe I'm really excited for. I want these. I do want these. These come out very soon. So I'm looking forward to those for sure. 
Do I have any women t-shirt products? Yes, all my t-shirts are unisex. We've got sizes from, um, we got kids sizes all the way to, to I think, 6XL. So we got sizes for everyone. Oh, you like the Otter Pops. I just got, uh, where is that Funko Pop I just bought today? Where did it go? I just had it. I wanted to show it off. What the hell? Oh, here's one I got today. I got this in the mail. If you're a, fr a fan of The Mandalorian, I got this. This Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con exclusive just came in in the mail today. So we got Baby Yoda. We got Baby Yoda right there with um, The Mandalorian chain. Repping that Mandalorian chain, you know? So I, I got that pop today. And I did get this one, too, of Marty McFly with the hoverboard and the air mags. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Let me adjust this a little so we can get better lighting. We need some better lighting. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go with some better lighting right there. Yeah. You guys want to see some sneakers? Let's do it. Let me crack open a cold one. Ah, delicious. Okay, let's see. Let's check out some kicks. What are these? Let's see what these are. Oh, look at this. This is a nice little treat right here. A little sneaker treat. A little sneaker treat for your ass. Bong, bong. Little sneaker treat. Okay. Okay, little sneaker treat. These are fire. These are fire. Fire for your ass. Back to the Future 2 is on TV right now. Dope. Shout out to Pill Cosby. Gosh, what a name. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. These these are fire right here, man. Real nice. Just wore them a couple of times. They're not, they pretty clean. A little dirt on them. They're pretty clean, though. Yeah, I love my Funko Pops. Oh, we got a super chat walking in from my boy, Clint Stewart. He says, the Fire Red 4 is um, true to the OG form. Seen, seen pics on sneakers. Can't wait for Black Friday. Okay. Um, thank you for sharing that, bro. And thank you so much for that super chat. As I say, super chat is the ultimate compliment. The ultimate compliment is super chat and cash app. Feel free to send them. Thank you, Clint Stewart. The ultimate compliment brings out ultimate tells. <laughs> Thank you once again for the super chat. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, brother. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, Chrome 8s. That would be a good, good. Jeez, that you see Jordan got the fire emojis with me on fire and everything. I'm going to um, show you some more sneakers, man. Super Chats come. We're going to show more and more heat. Definitely. Hey, so um, this is my favorite sneaker of all time. Let's see how much you guys know me. Leave in the chat and in the comments what you think this is. This is my favorite sneaker of all time. Favorite shoe of all time. ATL Kicks, Dell's Warrior. That's right. <laughs> Miss my Aqua 8s. I have a pretty fresh pair of Aqua 8s. Shout out to Mr. Mind Over Matter who cammed up earlier. Salute, homie. I appreciate that, man. I love that, that you did that. 
it's great when I get to see the faces to the people we kicking it with. I mean, you know, we're seeing faces and some of it. I see Pill up in here, but um, I love seeing the cam and up. But we do have that link. Okay, let's see. All right, Bong, Bong. All right. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it, baby. Bong. He said Mocha 3. Come on, son. <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell you, Black Cement 3s is a close one. Sometimes I feel like I may love the Black Cement 3s a little bit more. But when I was a kid, I wanted these so badly. And then when I finally was able to get them, it was such a joyful effing moment. Like, for real, you know? So, yeah. Here they are, these beauties right here. I've worn them just a couple of times, a little bit of doodle -doo brown on it, but but for the most part, still in pretty pristine shape. And um, got a little bit of hair from Pequeno Juan, <laughs> my dog, for people that I don't know. And uh, man, these are sick. These This is one of my favorite shoes. Got the Nike Air on the ass. And um, let's see, let's show some more kicks, guys. We'll get into some kicks. I'm in the mood to show sneakers tonight. So that's good for y'all. I love these shoes. These released this year. Um, I don't see people talking about them much, but this is a dope pair of kicks right here. To me, they're, they're fire. These joints, the Luca joints with the mismatched swooshes, these shits are fire with the mismatched outsoles. Simple and plain, plain chain, but it got that flavor to it, man, that flavor that I love. I, I think these are dope right here. I don't see a lot of people really praising these, but I dig them. I, I think they're hot. Let me know what you think of them, too. What's good? What's good, man? Salute to everyone up in here. Hey, guys, hit that thumbs up button. It takes one second to do. Uh, the more likes, the more shoes I'll show. How about that? How about that? Let's see. I got to make sure to put the shoes away while I grab them. I got to put them away so we don't have a hot mess later. Because y'all ain't coming over later to help me clean. And I don't want y'all to come over. I like y'all, but not that much. <laughs> Here's some Yeezys. And I've worn these a shitload of times. They're very gross. They're pretty nasty. These are the real Yeezys. This is what real Yeezys look like. Straight from Nike store. Favorite Jordan sneaker of the year? I think it may be the um the UNC threes. I think that may be my favorite. I think so. I, I got to put a little more thought into it. But I think that may be. Let's just work on this shelf right here. Make it easy for me. How do we feel about these now that some time has passed? These um, Gatorade sixes. Now that some time has passed, um, how do you feel about these Gatorades? Show you year of the rabbits. I don't think I could get to it. I have like a wall of shoes here because I was going through some sneakers and it's like blocking the shelf. Um, I don't really feel like going through all that. There's like this wall of sneakers blocking the shelf behind it. So um, not today. Sorry, buddy. How you get them Yeezys? I got them on Nike. I was lucky. I was able to get my pair and my, I was able to get my pair here. And then my wife was able to get the pure platinums. So we got both on Nike. And I actually got these for under retail. I had a 20% off discount code. So I was able to get these for under retail, which was effing nuts. But yeah, let me know what you think of these now that some time has passed. Hot, not overrated, leave it in the comments. And uh, this came in a sample box, as you can see. This is a sample straight from Jordan Brand. I've pissed off Jordan Brand so much, they don't send me nothing no more. I think because I've been too honest with you guys, they don't like that. They don't like the honesty, you know what I mean? Here you go, for the hype beast. For the hype beast in you. Here you go. We got a guest in here. Drew Habits. 
Oh, Drew, you ain't coming in here unless you unless you show face, bro. So you got to go. Sorry, buddy. There you go. Unless I know you, you got to show face when you come in here. Some phone posits. Favorite phones besides the Royals. All right. Yeah, these are dope, man. Um, I couldn't believe when I hit on this on Supreme. I was just kidding around. I was like, yo, I'll, get, I'll try for them. I doubt I'll get them. Um, and I wasn't even that fond of them at first. Uh, but then when I got them, I was like, thank the gods. I was able to get this. This is a really dope phone posit. I never wore them. They're still DS, but um, real dope. We'll do another pair of phone posits. Why not? So here is the eggplants. I think I may summon um, DS, um, what is it, um, DS Kicks. No, no, not DS Kicks, um, Pain82, because um, he's a big phone positive head. I may have summoned him. He may show up now because I'm showing more than one pair of phone posits. Batman may come through. We'll see. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the chat. I'm going to try to show that love to everyone in the chat. And once again, if you're just walking in here, just thumbs it up. He says, I got a pair. I got a fake pair of Yeezy ones. Shit. Hey, whatever works for you, bro. I don't judge. What did you say? I may be wrong. Thought it was in store only. What was in store only? The um Supreme? Or are you talking about the Yeezy? The Yeezy was on Nike store at a at a random time. The um the Yeezy was a random store. This I bought online on the internet. And I'm 100% sure of that. Oh, we got the bad bunnies for you crockheads. Got them bad bunnies. <laughs> um, ever have a pair of... Uh, pair no, if I had the pair of Norm Normans, I wouldn't have sold them. I would have kept them. I would have never got rid of them. Um, I wasn't able to get those, unfortunately. And there's so many fakes that I can't even tell the difference, so I'll never buy them. Dr. Dooms, we lighting this shit up. Hit some more thumbs up. So I'm about to be I'm about to pause on showing kicks until we get some more thumbs ups in here. I'll keep showing kicks. Just keep hitting the thumbs up. No, the Supreme was available on the internet. I think you were only actually able to buy those phone posits on the internet. I think they even canceled it where you couldn't even go to the store and camp out, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm 100% sure I bought those over on um, Supreme's website. Dr. Dooms. Dr. Dooms, baby. DS, what's good? Wish I could get the Red Octobers. One day, I, I keep saying, I think one day they will release the Red Octobers. I really think one day that will happen. We will get Red Octobers. Um, what easy is this? Oh, good. Because I have it here, I think. I need to put that shoe away. Here's some Yeezys. Some newer Yeezys. Put those away, those over there. Put the Crocs over here. Here we go with some more kicks. Yes, yeah, smash that thumbs up button. Salute to everyone up in here. Don't forget we have Cash App and the Super Chat. Show that love, hit that money sign. We hanging out on a Saturday night. Your boy DJ Dell's up in here kicking it live and direct from the collector's room. We need them Fab Five Barclays to come back out. Let's see who's up in here. 
Andrew Hat. What's let's see what he about. What's up, dude? Yo, what what's up, up dudes? What's going what's on? What's going man? on? Yeah, it's honestly my first uh, getting on like a live stream, so it's kind of cool. But I see no, you bro, showing all the kicks. What you got? Show me some sneakers. Come on. Oh man, hold on. Let me let's let me go. turn the camera. Just. Just yeah, or just put the camera down and grab the shoes and show them. Let's see what word, you got. Word, word. Here we go. Got the little setup behind me. All right, beautiful. We, we got a little bit of everything. Hold up, hold up. All right. Let me see if I can show you. Let's see. If you got like a table or a chair rested on yeah, there, let me see. Some... Let me see. Yeah. Pull out some stuff. Oh man. Here we go. You know what? I'm just gonna. It's a little dark right here, bro. It's all right, man. Oh. Show some new pickups. Okay. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I love these, man. I wish I could have got the 2001 pair. The, the leather on those is incredible. But these are yeah, crazy. Yeah, I heard the leather on those aren't that great, but it's still a great colorway. It's still a great colorway. I'll be honest, this shoe is going to, I think it's going to creep up. It's definitely going to creep up in price. Man. I, I picked them up off, I had to buy them off StockX, but uh, these are crazy, man. I love these. These are just oh, yeah. one of that's my favorites. A, that's like Oakland 20. 8 colorways. My dude, Ali Frazier would love those. Yeah, bro, man, they're so fresh. I have also have the plums too, but I can't find them. I don't know where they went. I think they're here somewhere. The ugly ducklings, those ones too. Let me see. Nah. Try to find them though. Show you the. I'm not gonna lie. I just I kind of start hopping on the dunk. Yeah, the hu... I like those. We call these the Biggie Smalls now. We don't call the them the Huxables. No, I about to no, say, I about to say Huxables. And I said no. We can't call them. Nah, that. nah. We call these the Biggie Smalls. Now. Those are fire. Those are fire. Thank you. You got a little, uh, let me see if I can get them in the light. I don't know how like. There you go. Them. You got them plums. Them plums. Yeah, those oh, are gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, I love these, man. I love these. These these things came up in price, too. I got them, like. What are those running now? I think, like, was it, 450 500 I mean, depending on the size. I'm, like, a 10 and a half. So, I think it's, it's like, around 450 That's but... crazy. That much these money? Cr wow. Crazy, right? But um, I wonder how much these are. I don't know about resale. I don't know how much these are, but I don't. I wonder, I, I wonder how much. They... I think all the SVs are crazy now, though. Like they're they're all going up. Like you know, I got into the sneaker game. It was around 2013. Okay. And I and I got into it, and I used to have a lot of SVs. I used to have like the roller derbies. I had uh the J Pack. Oh yeah, the, I like those. The red joints. I sold. Those are crazy. <laughs> Those are crazy. Yeah, like, oh, I don't know man. how much these are worth. I I would assume they're worth a little bit now. I think yeah, I think they're like two two k. I I want to say around really. 2, yeah, I want to say that much money. I want to say this comes around two thousand, maybe eighteen hundred, seventeen hundred, but it's close. Wow, I yeah. didn't even know that. I I got a little something. Hold up, this is not a. Actually, I got a, a black SB box in front of me right now. Let me pull these out. The vanilla ice blazers. Oh yeah, those are sweet. Yeah, these are crazy. That's a vanilla ice, right? Vanilla ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah ice ice baby. Yeah. <laughs> Love these. Love these. These are crazy. I like those. Got those. Wait, you, wait how got... old are those? Those are a little got a little age to them, right? I think yeah, two thousand six maybe. I think it's around two thousand six. Yeah, I want to say... Yeah, it's like 2006. That's awesome, Crazy. man. Crazy. Yeah, those... I got a little something. This is what I was going to wear. I'm going out tonight. This is what I'm about to wear. Hey, do you uh, have a relative that used to work for um Jordan Brand? No, no. Okay, because there's a no. girl I know that used to work for Jordan Brand. It's the same last name as you. Okay, okay. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. Yo, I, honestly, the, the last name is a little bit common. I'm seeing it more. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See the, the HTM, yeah, the HTM joints from 2012. Uh 
These are crazy. Yeah. Tough. Yeah. I actually have a I actually started a YouTube channel two week like two weeks ago. Uh it's called Habibi What's Sneakers. What's it called? It's called Habibi Sneakers. Okay, we'll have to check that one out. Check then. it out. Yeah. I posted my first video. It's a Jordan One collection. Mm-hmm. So I got a few Jordan One. I got a few in front of me right now. I'll show you. Got these. I wore these the other day. Shattered backboard. Oh yeah. The three point Yeah. I'm not. Yo, yeah, you know, I, lace, I um, regret passing on that shoe. You know, I was going to sell these, and then I put the orange laces in, and I was like, they pop. I mean, they pop. Yeah, uh, they're, they're really nice shoes. See, I got, re- I don't have those. I got these. These are these. Oh, I, got. I love those. But the I thing, love- the thing I like about those is that they they really pop on feet with the with the shine. They do. Like in hand, you're like ah, they kind of kind of like tacky, but on feet, the shine looks crazy on feet. I like how they yeah. look on feet. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 they're so far. I actually like um my Instagram's linked in my YouTube channel, and uh, I, I I have this nice pick coming with those soon. Nice like fit pick coming with them soon. Cool. Um, that's so what's up, gonna, man. Yeah, definitely gonna post that for like the fall time. Yeah, man, I got a lot. Like, I've been into sneakers since like 2013. Yeah, it was like 2012. I started in that time, mm-hmm. and then uh, like I was into had a lot of Jordans when that Adidas hype started in like 2014, 2015. I messed up. Ended up selling a lot of my Jays and getting Adidas. Mmm. That was and you. That went, was like, you you started following the herd, huh? Started following the herd, right? <laughs> So, it's I mean, all right. It Adidas. happens. It happens to the best of us, so, dude. You know, I'm telling you. Happens, yeah, yo. I'll tell you. Give let me pull something out. I'll give you an example. Like these right here. I still have some of my Adidas, but like these right here. Oh yeah, the NMDs are fire. The NMDs. I still wear them. I love. Is that them. the? That's one of the OG colorways too, right? Yeah. No? What's that with the, red on the toe? On the yeah. On the block, no, the no, no, no. It's um. It's that the 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 sock. It's like the black. Okay. It just has the blue block. Yeah, I had I had the original one. Oh, with I had the, the red original block. NMD. With I think it had the red, black, and blue. It was like real. Those were like really sought after. Yeah, um, yeah, I remember those. After. I remember. Um, I remember. Shout out to my boy Wex Wex twelve hundred who worked at Adidas. He just left recently. Oh yeah, Wex. Um, yeah, yeah. He sent me those. That was a really nice gift. They were samples. That's crazy. Um, and I, I still have them. I still have them. He sent me Man, those, and he sent me the turtle doves, which I still have. Oh, too. the turtle! I, 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 I wore the turtle see. doves like crazy. Yeah, I, I killed still those things, though. Damn, yeah, it's hard to find a pair in good condition now. Oh, you know, I I got them, and they were ten, uh, nine and a half, so they were a little big, and they were they stretch from me wearing them, and then my yeah. my leg kind of hit in the front and the back because it fit a little bit big. So it literally opened it up a little bit, which kind of sucks. But I'm not ever going to sell them. I mean, it's no, it was a special it, gift. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I have, yeah, I have like, so yeah, I have a lot of Adidas, but I have like this big stack right here. If I take one down, it's all going to tumble. But yeah, oh, we, yeah. Got, like, we got the, let's see, um, my finger pointing it. We got these Anikis, the Goldenrod Anikis. Sweet. Um, we got some of the OG NMDs right here. I can see it. the gray color. Yeah, I, I I definitely regret selling a lot of my J's. I had like Carmines and Bread Eleven, Space Jam Eleven. I sold it all. So. Check this these Adidas out. These shits are really rare. These are the Star oh, Wars. Oh, okay. Emperor Palpatines. It glows in the dark. These are really crazy. Um, That's crazy. The leather is like the skin of the Empire. He's like that old wrinkled, like, you know, crazy looking yeah. guy. Yeah. And it's got like like this like crazy kind of leather. It's like really sick looking. Um, and then on the back, you have him right there. It's a That's crazy. Someone told me these are like really rare. Like it's very hard to find them like this. Yeah. I don't know how no. much. I don't really pay attention to what sneakers are worth. No, Just because I, 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 I don't really look to sell my sneakers. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. But, um, I mean, I'm beginning to think about selling some of them because they're worth so much money. 
like the Red Octobers I have, and they're worth like people are saying I get probably like eighteen to twenty thousand for a size nine. So I'm like, I'll sell them if someone got that money, you know? Yeah, go put like like, a, like a down payment on like another house or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I feel a that. lot of money right there. I feel you that. Know? Yeah. Um, I could buy a small, put a down payment on a small house and rent it out. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Then uh -huh. you just rebuy so them like, again. I'm, my wheels are thinking about taking some of the sneaker money. <laughs> Invest it into some business, you know what I mean? For, for sure. And then I can for come sure. back and get all that other stuff. Because I think that the Red Octobers are going to come back out eventually. I know some I people think, think I'm crazy, but I think so. I think so, too. I think all those Nike Yeezys are going to come out eventually. I, I I don't know. It's only, but if Kanye if Kanye goes back to Nike, who knows if that's going to happen. But yeah. I, I, I think it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, anything's possible, dude. Anything's possible. Like you can't, you can't kind of predict what's happening. You know, you can't really predict what's gonna happen. It's hard. See, my whole thing is, look, Kanye West, man, he accomplished so much with so little over at Nike. Just think about it. He only released, um, what six sneakers and um, very limited amounts. Yeah. And um, they're so iconic right now. I I guarantee you, there's not a month that goes by that he's not like, man, I would like to do something more with nike he's sure. got to be feeling that way sure. you know? i mean he wore he wore the core purples the other day i mean yeah it's like he's thinking he, you know he has the thoughts in the back of his mind i'm sure like if it oh yeah him really him wearing those court purples is a big statement that's you know? a big statement yeah yeah it made me i actually i have the 2.0s right here it made me pull out my pair when i saw it. i was like oh, i gotta pull out my pair now where <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know this is crazy i love these too and but, that's when around the sneakers started really getting crazy again this year. Yeah. I think that's like right around when things were selling out like this. The um that shoe, the um the UNC three, the um the green ones that came out. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right around that time frame is when shit was starting at the fan where sneakers were selling like super crazy you absolutely. know absolutely absolutely you know unc threes i wasn't expecting them to, to do that well um because i i woke up early i heard finish line was getting like first come first serve by me i'm up in jersey so I okay finish line is getting first come first serve i go in the mall and it was mayhem and they had like 50 <laughs> pairs and people were staying in line from like six in the morning i went around like nine Cause that's what I was mm. doing. I was like, I think I'll, I'll probably get a pair. I, don't, I didn't think people were gonna want them like that, but people wanted them. <laughs> and it was yeah, tax I mean, refund season too. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Them. Like people had some extra paper, and I remember like going into this store and being like, "Yo, I need those UNCs." It's like yeah. I'm gonna write your name on the box. You good? Because at the time they weren't so strict with the app, but now I feel like they're so strict with that damn app. Yeah, um, they are. Because I've built so many relationships where. I used to be able to just go and be like, you know, give a text and be like, yo, put me a side, a size nine to the side and they'd yeah. get me. But now they have to run with this effing app all the time I know. and it's killed me. I know some people are like, well, that's not fair, Dells. But, you know, when you're when you're doing this kind of footwork for 10 plus years, people, you know, you earn some some stripes, you know what I mean? In the I game agree, yeah. where, where yeah. you're able to. But now it's a little bit of a pain in the ass getting the shoes, you know? No, it is. It is for sure. Like, and you go and people are saying, uh, no, we don't have any more. They backdoored the whole, like, they're not going to tell you the backdoor the whole stock, but, they, you know, it's all gone, <laughs> yeah. you know? You know, but yeah, well, with the SBs, it's a real problem. The oh, SBs, is they problem. back the, Because these skate shops, they're just hooking up all the good good um, customers they got, you know? Exactly. Like, look, exactly. and think about it. If you own a skate shop, let's be real, right? And chat, and people on the replay, leave it in the comments. Let's say you own an SB shop, and you got yeah. this kid that skateboards his ass off, that's in there all the time, buying trucks, buying new wheels, buying new decks. And then all of a sudden, they're releasing SBs again. Um, you're gonna, you're not gonna want to care and, and try to look out for that kid over at the sneakerhead that doesn't give a shit about um, skate culture. I know me, call me an asshole. I'm gonna hook up the kid that's, you know, rail sliding off of shit and doing kick flips all Yo, over. The I would place. too, 100. Like yeah, the ben I'm sorry. Jones, I would give it to someone who's gonna skate in them. And like I personally, I used to skate. I don't skate mm -hmm. anymore. Me too. Um, I, I was longboarding for a little bit. I had a little, a little accident longboarding. I kind of stopped. Mm -hmm. um but 
you know, I, I would probably hook, I would hook up the kid. Like whoever's coming yeah. to my shop, supporting me all the time and they want to keep my doors open. I'll give them that limited shoe before I give it to some kid who's just going to take it and flip it on StockX. And, so, and just buy the one shoe and never come back. And never come back. Or anytime an SB release comes, you're going to be there. And no yeah. one like, you know, so I, 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 exactly. I would give it to the kid. Yeah, hundred percent. And I know some sneakers, that's not going to be a popular thing to say, but you got to think about skate shops stay open from repeat customers, not from yeah. the guy that comes in there and buys the, um, you know, the um, whatever, the bears, the dancing bears or some shit oh, like that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the Grateful right? like that's, that's like to keep the store open when you yeah, buy it. Yeah. How much money do you think they even making off the dancing bears or the Ben and Jerry's? <laughs> they're not making nothing yeah, they're, off that they're shit. They're hundred bucks and they're probably getting like, they're getting them for around 70 from Nike and they get like, 50 or 60 pairs they're not making that much for for you know for a business uh-huh 100 you know I mean? man. so yeah i mean i, I if, i'll give it to the kid too like, like you said oh what's your thoughts about the grateful dead i, I honestly wasn't a big fan of them i thought it, i like uh, them because i'm into those kind of fun sneakers like for example yeah. i have them right here um and this will be a treat for y'all y'all got you guys are gonna really like this shit including you too I like shit like that with the fur and the hair and all of that. Look, I got these. Oh, that's crazy. Those are yeah, the, panda. the panda dunks in the yeah. cage and everything. That's so, like, insane. I like stuff like this that's corny and tacky. Like, I'm into that, you know? So, like, I really wanted those. Like, I, I really, really wanted them because I'm into no, this. I get it. Like, I get it, yeah. Yeah, but um, I can understand why some people could be like, I don't understand it. Especially if you're not a fan of the Grateful Dead, then you, you're really not going to get it. You're going to be like, I what think, the hell? It's just got a bunch of fur on it, you know? I think that's what it is. Look, I, I have, I love fun shoes. Like, I love fun, like, I liked, I loved the Ben and Jerry's when they came out. Yeah, mm. I, see, like, you're a Grateful Dead. You like Grateful Dead, so you understand it. But me, like, I'm not. I mean, I listened to some of their music when the shoe, I'm not gonna lie, when the shoe came out, I was like, oh, l- let me see what the music's about. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but like, it, it's okay, you know, I like all, all types of music, so I, I messed with it, but um, the shoe was okay to me. I don't know, I wasn't crazy, but it kind of reminded me of the Papa Bear. The yeah, Mama Bear, and, and, and that's I why those. I think a lot of I people like wanted those. them. Yeah, I, another yeah. reason why. Because yeah. people are never gonna be able to get that shoe. That shoe is like a fortune, right? Those, the, the yeah. three bears. Yeah, three bears are really expensive now. Yeah. I mean, they've always been kind of expensive, too, you know? Yeah, they've always been. I, I actually remember. So I got I got ripped off. I got, a, like, I got a pair of Papa Bears. I thought they were real. They came out fake. So I ended up throwing throwing them in the garbage, actually. <laughs> Cause, oh, like, my they, God. Yeah, they had ripped and every. I paid, like, 250 for them. This was back in 2014. Um, yeah, but they were going for a lot more than that back then, no? They were going for, I think, yeah, they were going for like 600, 700 See, in that that's where you, that's that's where you fucked up, you know? Yeah, that. yeah. And I'm not oh, trying yeah. to be a dick to you. No, no, if I get it. If it's too Trust good me. to be true, you got to fall back, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely, Absolutely. But, no, but sometimes, you, you're, you, sometimes you, you're not thinking with, the, with your right mind, you know? You're like, oh, you get excited in the moment and you, you go for it, you know? Exactly, That that's what it is. And I was like... You know, I started getting into more types of sneakers. I was just into Jordans. And then I started mm-hmm. getting into more types of sneakers. I started getting into the SVs. Like, I told you, I had the roller derbies. I had quarter snacks. I had a J-Pack lows, the red ones. I had the UNC, like, the rivalry pack. Mm-hmm. Um, so when I saw those, and I was like, those are so far. I got them in the mail, and then they're fake. And then, you know, the whole process with eBay, trying to dispute the transaction, trying to... Uh, get it on your side, not the seller side. At that time, it was really difficult. They yeah, actually... the eBay used to eBay used to care more about the seller versus the buyer. Now yep. it's the other way around. Now if you're a buyer, around. it doesn't even matter if you're right or wrong. You're no, wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about the it. buyer now. That's it. But exactly. Yeah, back then you got you you throwing me back on that because I remember that shit. If you were the buyer, they wouldn't give a shit about you. They wouldn't care. Yeah, they care. And at all. And that, 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 that sucked because, like, it took two months of a process to try to get my money back. I couldn't get it back. They, they took the seller uh, side. And uh, I, I, they ended up ripping. Like, I, I just skated in them a little bit, and they ended up mm-hmm. ripping. 
mm. suck, you know. So it is what it is. But uh, I ended up throwing them out. But you know, too good to be true. It's not true. Yeah, you know and I mean? um, that's why I'm so scared now, like to buy shoes on any kind of aftermarket. Yeah. Because there's the fakes are so good now. They are. They are. So I'm like, if I can't buy it for retail, like I'm done. Like yeah. I have so many. Like I'm just looking here. I showed these the other day. They're just chilling. I gotta put them back in its home. But like, I mean, I got so many damn Jordans. It's like this is Those brand are nice. new. I, Those are I so haven't nice. even wore these. It's so fresh. The lazy. Hell one. yeah. And this it is a slept so on Jordan. Like it a is. lot of people. And these sat because the price point was like two fifty. So they sat. Um, but they're crazy. They're crazy kicks. If, if they came out now, they would sell out. Oh, God. If they came out now, people would be foaming from the mouth for them now, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh. I mean, those remind me of the Laser 5s. That's why I like them a lot. They remind mm -hmm. me of the Laser 5s. and Yeah, the Mars. Oh, those are clean. Those are yeah. clean. Those this are was really... a gift, too. I got these for free from this store, Pick Your Shoes, and they ended up becoming chic shoes. Oh, I mean, okay, not cheap okay. shoes. Bait me. They they ended up being bait me. But originally, okay. pick your shoes. Um, this is the company that that hooked me up with these, and then they went to bait me. They switched up to bait me, which nice. is still uh, popping right now. They do a lot of cool yeah. shit. Yeah, those are those are fire. Those are brand new. Um, I have. I, I don't even think I wore these. No, I haven't yeah. even wore these. Are dead stock. Those are gonna be nice I, in the fall time. Throw them on with a pair of jeans and a t shirt. Yeah. yeah, I may sell these shits, man. Yeah, I'm I'm, 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 not, I'm not even kidding. I may sell these shits. <laughs> I wanna I wanna trim my collection down to to like super rarities, like fifty super rarities, and then like just sneakers I'm gonna wear all the time. And then once I'm done wearing them, get rid of them. For I have sure. way too many sneakers. Got like five hundred pairs. I want to just go crazy. And just be like a normal person, but oh, well, I wouldn't say normal person because still, if you have like fifty shoes in rotation, that's not fucking normal. But mm. <laughs> I want to just keep on wearing the shoes like crazy, yeah. and then just have my rarities like the Eminem twos. They'll never re-release Eminem twos nah, and nah, sneakers nah, like not. that, they're like not. things that are like I have like the Reebok um, S. Dot Carter Kanye West sneaker. They'll never put that out. Nah, like, they're not gonna put that like out. Just no. like crazy <laughs> rarities, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Shit For like sure. this even. I have like these shoes that like Sockany gave me like when I visited them oh, to like design, yeah. design my sneaker. Like this is like a one of one. Actually, oh. it's a one of like nine. Like I have mine. Fomer Simpson has his, but it says Fomer in the back, you know. Like okay, um, okay. But like little things like things like that that are sentimental to me, like I'll never get rid of. Wait, like, the, uh is that separate from the that YouTube pack that they released? Is yeah, like that, that, they gave know? that shoe to all of us. We were all on this big ass conference table. We were sitting looking at binders with materials and, and designing our shoes. Like nice. just picture like like me, Hess Kicks, Former Simpson, Yo Antony, um, Bullet RC, Tony D. All of us in one one room on one big ass table. We're like flipping through binders, looking at all these materials. Yo, let me That's get that crazy. book. Yo, let me get that book. Yo, check this out. What do you think of the, you know, everyone's just vibing out. And then after That's they sweet. gave us these shoes. Like the president of Sockney was like, Here, nice, we got man. you some gifts. So like all of us have that shoe and no one else has it. It's a, like a one of I guess it's a one of one because our names in the are on the back of each one. Yeah. You know, yeah. but but it's the same effing sneaker. And it's like it does all types of tricks. Like you got reflective and all that type of shit That's on nice. it. So but see, like, like this this shoe. This shoe is, uh, is, I mean, I know some people don't care about Vans too much, but this shoe is, like, really rare. Um, this is, like, um, I think 100 pairs only. And I the last time this sold, the shoe was for, like, $3,000. Um, this is yeah. the the, um, Cord the Cordell Dub Rocker. Um, and it, it, Dub Rocker is, like, this rock, um, reggae joint. And um, you see it's got, like, the Jamaican colors on it. Yeah, but, that's crazy. But um, there's only there's only a hundred pairs of these. The only person I know that has these is Redman, the rapper Redman. Okay. And, like, and I've seen it on I've seen it on eBay for three thousand and it's and it's sold. So like that's like a shoe. Like if I put it on eBay, it'll be like gone like so that's quick. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey man, yo, I love Vans too, bro. I got I got a few. I just pulled these out. The the Homer the Simpson. Oh hell yeah, those are sick, dude. It's so sweet. Yeah, I love Simpsons. So when these came out, uh, 
I went crazy. I bought. I got the slip on pair too, and I got the the Mr. Plows. But I don't. I, I have to get it downstairs somewhere. But these two, the the slip on. Oh hell yeah! With all the characters, yeah. Yeah, I love the Simpsons. I'm looking right now at my wall because I, I I just bought a few Simpsons. Simpsons. Oh. See, I, I just um, took this out. I put it on my mantle downstairs. Oh, but yeah. It, you have the Raven, Bart, from, okay. you know, the Raven, Edgar Allan Poe, um, you know, the um, the poem. And um, it's pretty dope. He's, like, sitting on the, the actual, there it goes. That's sweet. Yeah, I'm a big fan That's of the sweet. Simpsons, too. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm, on, like, on season 12 now. I rewatched it. Started rewatching it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. that table moment. If you're a fan of like YouTube, like you guys would have like went crazy if you got to see like all of us were like, yo, we were all just looking at binders, just looking at shit and trying and like creating That's shit. Awesome. It was so, it was pretty cool, man. It's props to Sackney for putting that shit together because, like, that was like insane. They, the more I think about, it, the more I'm like, damn, that was crazy. I'm trying to look to see where that shoe is, the one I actually made. Sakuni is crazy. They're they're underrated. They're still underrated, in my opinion. Yeah, but the problem with Sakuni is they kind of fell off a little bit. They um they stopped they stopped running with the formula that was working good for them as far as like the the right collaborations, the right sneakers, and and now they're beginning to resurface again. Um, I just seen these. I gotta put this other shoe away. This one was just chilling over there. <laughs> this was a dope <laughs> one. The day last so. Those are fire. Those are fire. Yeah. Those are fire. Yo, yo, does. Let me. Uh, Guys, don't I, forget if you I'm, got any questions, please in the chat. For sure. Conversate. And don't forget we got Super Chat and Cash App. Show that love and support, please. Oh, check these out, guys. You'll like these. This was a custom that was made for me in California. I forgot the company, but they literally were licensed to make custom Janowskis through Nike. Like Nike, cool. it, like gave them permission to make their own customs. So you just call them up. It was a skate shop in um, California. Let me see if I have the receipt because sometimes I'm good with that. I keep that so I can talk about it later on. No, I don't. But um, yeah. So check out this custom. Those are this Gucci. You got like the Gucci print going on them. Nah, this is Freddy Krueger, but it can oh, be Freddy Gucci Kruger. too. Oh shoot! Yeah, the sweater, the credit Freddy Krueger That's sweater. Cre That's sweet. With the blood. That's crazy. Yeah. You said who, who makes it? Like a company customized? Yeah, it? this um skate company, they actually got permission from Nike to like print whatever um people requested. Like, you know, like you could go in there and, and look at a book of all different stuff in a binder and it would you could pick like, oh, I want this print. So I told the guy, I was like, look, I got an idea. I was on the phone. I said, I have an idea. I want you to do a Freddy Krueger design. Can you do like a sweater kind of vibe? on this upper and then make blood splatter. So we were collabing on the phone and he was able to make that happen, which was crazy, you know? That's crazy. That's dope, Yeah, though. That's dope. Yeah, because, you know, I always wanted the um, Freddy Krueger SBs, but I was never able to get them. So, you know, it is huh? what it is. At least I got something close to it. Yeah, Let's see. yeah. Oh, I got these SBs too that are pretty sick. Guys, hit the thumbs up button too, by the way. Y'all want me to stay. I'm about to cut up out of here if we don't get them thumbs up a little higher up. <laughs> Come I'm on, showing y'all a lot up. of heat. I think I showed I think I showed you at least at least thirty, thirty thousand dollars worth of sneakers through this whole stream, I think. Oh, the I think Chong we went is, there. Cheech and Chong is crazy. Yeah. Cheech and Chong is crazy. I'll show you a few sock in these I got actually. So oh. them out. I'm close them out. Yeah, I'm trying to put out another socket with them, but yeah, that would be dope. Fronting a little bit. That would be dope. You got one right here. Space. Oh snacks. yeah, what what are those again? I have those. This, those are the the space snacks. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, those. yeah. These were with I think Bait Bait did these. I think. Come on, or extra butter. It was either no, Bait extra or butter. End, or it may have been End. No, extra butter, extra butter. Oh, okay. You know which one I really like, too? The burger ones. I want those. I've been trying to get a pair, but every time I find them, they're like four, 500 bucks. I'm like, no, no I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those, those are great. One, two sneaker addicts coming for you. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, yeah, those are fire. Yeah, the burger joints. They need to bring those back. They need to bring those back. Yeah, we saw, like, saw I don't know why they wouldn't see that, but that's what I'm saying. That's where Sakini kind of was like out of touch with shit. Like that's so iconic that that damn sneaker. It's like why wouldn't you just put that back out? You know, Jordan did retro shit all the time. People keep buying, rebuying, For sure. rebuying. For sure. Why are you not putting that back out? Can you imagine they released the Sakini Burger collaboration? I think that was with End Clothing, right? Was I think that was. With, I think it was with End. Yeah, I think it was with End or mm-hmm. Bait. I mean, one of them. I don't know. I don't remember. That was the sick. If you've never seen that, guys, search Sakini Burger sneaker. You'll be like, holy shit. They, the colorway is like a hamburger. It's, it's like crazy. so crazy. The lettuce, the fucking yeah. bun. They like it's just magical, like the way they yeah. put it together. It's crazy because like they also have like the the laces come in like ketchup. Yep. Mustard oh, packages. It's crazy. Yeah. And they're nice. Bananas. Banana. Yeah. They're they're crazy. Yeah. And Hell I was yeah, talking man. these are dope. I have the. I have. I wonder if I can find. Them, pull them out. Show them. This on one the I lines. like too. The, oh, the those dirty, are nice. Yeah, dirty martini. Uh, dirty martini. Yeah, those are those are crazy. Yeah, this was a collaboration with Ubik. Those and I nice. actually wore this shoe when I was designing my shoe. So it's pretty special to me. So the, that, the paint is so raising nice. though, which kind of sucks. But like why not retro these too, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, let me see if I you know, push. they used to send me every sneaker under the sun side. You know, once I, once I had that deal with them, they started sending you everything. Oh, they were sending me everything. I got let these me. joints. Oh, I got those too. I got those too. With yeah. the waffle cone? Yeah, right here. See the box. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. these are sick. Yeah, those, those are crazy. I, these, these ones, the only in Soho. Oh yeah, those are nice. Those are so nice. Yeah, the that materials. Are... It had the Miami Night one, I think. Uh, I think was it? Yeah, it was like a neon Miami Night neon or something like. Yeah, that. yeah, those. Asics got hot shit too, man. What you, know, you know about these? Mm, the pistachios, right? Yeah, and those are nice. Those are nice. I don't. I don't. I used to have. Uh, I used to have one pair of Asics, but I, I don't know. I, I think I got rid of them. I don't yeah, have these are crazy though. These are these aren't easy to get. I know. I'm no, pretty the, sure. Asics are a little expensive now too. They're starting. I wonder to how much upwards. these are. If these aren't going I'm for much, sure. I would buy another pair of these. these are the, those, those are crazy. I want to get the the Ronnie Feig Miami pair. That's the pair I want. The Miami. It was like a Miami and Knicks colors. I wasn't too fond of those because I thought that was like an easy shoe for him to do. Like, it wasn't that creative. I, I like the materials, but I expected more from him. I mean, I used to own all of Ronnie's shoes back in the days. Like, I had the fire, um, the Super Reds all and all them, them crazy yeah. shoes. Like, I I owned all of those. The OG Super Reds. I still have reviews on them, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. So, like, I, I have, like, a, a standard for Ronnie. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, he's killing it now. He is. Yeah, I mean the new stuff he's released is nice. I haven't mm-hmm. got any of it, but it's not I, like I saw photos and reviews of them. They're they're nice. The new the new uh the new A6 he's releasing now. I haven't I haven't bought um anything from him in, in many years, but um he's doing great things. Hey man, uh, my phone's about to die and we're you're gonna, good. We're gonna you're close good. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you for you're coming good. by, man. No, I absolutely. appreciate you showing your sneakers, dude. Absolutely, right? absolutely, yeah. I right, was a good, good time, one, man. Yeah, you too. Take care. All right. That was dope, man. Guys, always feel free to come through. There's a link. All I ask is you show your face. If I don't know you, if I'm not familiar. See, if he ever wants to come back now, Andrew, I know that Andrew ain't, ain't on some weirdo shit. You know what I mean? He, he proved that he's chill. So, um, you know, he can come back and not show face. If he just wants to talk sneakers, he can cam up. But, um, you know, unless I, I'm familiar with you, you got to show your face. Unless I'm familiar with you. That was cool. What's up, man? What's up, Shoes? Shoes, you want to cam up? Show some sneakers. Feel free. The link is all the way in the bottom of the description. Um, I got to plug my phone in. 
If you guys want me to stay, I will stay and hang out longer. All I ask is that someone sends a super chat because we're going at almost an hour now. Show that love and support. I will stay longer. But um, right now, we're just going to go back to the topic at hand. And um, as I said, anyone want to cam up and show their sneakers, just do so. Link all the way in the description. And um, we can check out what you got. What you got rocking, man. Um, as far as this shoe, Black Friday is releasing, and um, this is going to be so hard to buy. This is going to be such a difficult pickup. Um, and it seems like everyone likes that the color is kind of bright. It really does. It really seems like most people like that the color is kind of on the bright side of things. Let me know how you feel about it. You think the shade is okay? Um, let's see. It says, Dallas, you guys need to chill out with the heat. <laughs> yeah, man. I think I lit this chat up today, man. We lit it up today. A lot of hot sneakers today, um, this evening. Listen, guys, I know you, you guys can't go out. A lot of you guys, everything's shut down still. So I'm just trying to bring some entertainment to you all. We just had a super chat that walked in the door. So we will continue to stay. Um, we got to put some respect, though, on the ultimate compliment. So what we will do is we have to thank, first of all, Galvatron. Galvatron. Salute to Galvatron. And we also have to um, bring out Ultimate Dells for the ultimate compliment. <laughs> Thank you once again for that super chat. I do appreciate it. Right now, I'm just charging my phone. Um, and hey, they keep coming. We'll show some more sneakers. We're definitely going to hang out a little longer. You put some coins in the meter, we chilling. So um, let me know how you guys feel about this colorway. Is it too bright to you or no? It's perfect. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm rocking with this shoe, man. I don't mind it being bright. Like... I expected it not to be as bright, to be honest with you, but I really dig them. I really, really dig them. I like, they are so dope in my opinion. Um, let's see what people are saying. These should be full family size. I'm pretty sure they are, Jesus. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, let's see. Can you show the fours again, please? Uh, not right this second. Right now I'm charging my phone. And I can't charge it in the sneaker room because I don't have any outlets that, you know, with a long enough wire to do all of that. So unfortunately not this second. All right. But I will remind me, send a super chat. That will definitely get you that. All right. Um, let's see. Man, those Spike Lee 4s are grails. Yeah, they're they're pretty dope. And I, I kept them DS. They're brand new. So, you know. Yeah, it's kind of infrared I, I infrared -y. <laughs> The dude just say infrared <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, by the way, we'll, we'll, sh we'll talk about these real quick. What's up with these? You guys like these? Aunt Pearls. Great story behind it, paying homage to his aunt, his aunt. Do you say aunt or aunt? Let me know that too in the comments. Do you say, do you say aunt like the bug or do you say aunt? Let me know. <laughs> I don't know how you would explain that in the chat. But um, let's see what we got here in the chat. He says, I remember on an episode of Tales from the Crypt, a dude had those fours in the back. It, wow, really? Tales of the Crypt, huh? Man, I love Tales of the Crypt. I remember... The movie, was it a move? The movie where the guy was like buried in the beach, just his head showed, and the, he was the tide was coming. And, and before you know it, he was totally underwater. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Um, we got another super chat that just came in from Clint Stewart. He says, Nike Air um, Total Air Max Up Tempo release 2020, 90s classics. What's my thoughts? Um, I love it, bro. I absolutely do love it. I think that's awesome. And um, man, 
that's great news. I did not know about that. I did not know about that. So thank you um, from me. And also, I got to say thank you from Freddy Krueger's father, Senor Frederico Krueger. We both thank you, Clint Stewart, for the super chat. And you know, that's the ultimate compliment. So we got to bring back ultimate tells. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? <laughs> Thank you again, Clint. I appreciate you so much, for real. And, uh, man, I like these. I like the swoosh. I think that the swoosh looks kind of dope on these. Uh, but I'm not here to sell you them. Let me know if you like them or not. Leave it in the comments. And, uh, man, I love how many people are up in here. We got some good energy in here tonight. Yard.com backslash da 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 da. Click on that link. You can um stream right from your cell phone. All right, guys. And um, let's see what we got in the chat. Jay, that killed it for me. Most of them attacks and too hard. <laughs> yeah, that's a classic, man. Yo, I like how Nike basketball is bringing back a lot of cool sneakers. Um, I'm so into it, and um, you know. It's a fire pair of kicks. I think the last time they released, people weren't ready for them, man. Um, and this time around, it's popping. Um, love the story, but they trash City. All right. <laughs> hey, listen. It's all about the sneaker at the end of the day, right? I mean, you like what you like. You like what you like. Shout out to Frederico Kruger. Who was seen today over at at um, Home Goods? No, not Home Goods. At Home Depot, looking for a device to sharpen knives, and also looking for a new tub. This was spotted today, Freddie Frederico Senior. And um, this is breaking news, by the way. I broke this morning, so make sure you turn the notifications on because we. Not only break news when it comes to sneakers, but we also break news when it comes down to things like this. This was some some really big news today, like really big news. Um, definitely, you know, really. Um, I mean, look, we even got yearbook photos right here of Tyler Hero. I mean, we got it all here on the channel. Uh, let me know if you guys picked up any of these shoes today. Also, did you guys scoop up any of these today? I did get. The Paris Fours, I did pick those up, and um, they are pretty sick, man. Uh, really sick shoes. He says, I want Nike to bring back the Hirachi Elite 2. Those used to be great ball and shoes. Yeah, man. Let's see. Looks like the burger guy from Pop. <laughs> Total foot. Yes. Yes, they are. The um, Those are the Duncans, right, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of great stuff is coming out. It looks like people are embracing, uh, you know, like classic Nike basketball shoes. The air raids are coming back. People, are, you know, are buying them like crazy. They're literally selling out. The air raids are selling out. Last time the air raids released, they sat for forever. Like no one wanted them shits. They went on sale. No one cared about the air raids. Even the Peace Call Away, which was classic, you know. Um, Sounds familiar to the back name. <laughs> what are you waiting for? What review? He says Tyler looks like MGK. You know what? He kind of does. He does look like MGK. MJK, MGK actually um, released a new album. It's like a rock album. Sound kind of like hot topic music. I don't know if you guys heard it or not. But he's now doing rock and roll. He's not rapping. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what's going on in this chat. Oh, Fly Ming is in the building. Sorry I'm late. Got pulled over to from the cops speeding. 
did they do anything to you? Did they hit you over the head or do anything to violate you? I hope you had your camera on. You got to be careful with these guys. They're crazy out here. Be careful, Fly Ming. We pray for you. Corona even got air raids selling. Dude, these um, air raids are no joke, man. These air raids, they're selling out everywhere. They are selling out everywhere. I don't really know, Eddie. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm excited for game six on Sunday. I'm really excited for game six on Sunday. We did a video yesterday talking about Miami right after the game. Watch that stream. It was a fun stream. It was a late night stream. So you already know the late night stream. I'm a little loose with it. Um, it was fun. Watch that. We talked about so much on that stream. I ended up reviewing a hip hop album. Find out what album on this video. That was last night. We did a video this morning on all of the releases. So watch that stream. And um, we'll see if um, we'll come out with a stream tomorrow night. If this happens, this may happen tomorrow night. Will this happen tomorrow night, guys? Is it going to happen? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Let's see. Until you get caught with um catching it. You were an OG until you got caught with fakes. I never was caught with fakes. And um, you're a cornball. <laughs> How can you say you were an OG? You're either an OG or you're not. People are haters, man. I never was caught with fakes. I either got, the only time I had fake shoes, I didn't know they were fake, and they were Air Force Ones that I thought were real. I'm not very knowledgeable with Air Force Ones. How many Air Force One reviews do you see? It's usually all white on white Air Force Ones. And um, I got a pair gifted to me, and you could actually watch the vlog at this um, store in, in, um, in Canada. It's still up the vlog, and you can actually see the shoes in this store. They gave them to me as a gift, being nice to me because I was DJing over in um, Canada. And um, yeah, he says someone wrench. Oh, I ain't lying. Needs a wrench. Shit. I'm actually, you know, it's actually good. I ain't lying that my battery died because I'm right next to my laptop. I could actually give you a wrench right now. Um, so let me get that done right now because. You've been showing so much support. You're always watching all of my streams. And um, it's not always about the super chat. Um, if you're watching all the time and you're constantly giving me super chats, you get the wrench, of course. Why wouldn't you? That'd be crazy. But um, if you're just watching all the time and you're always here, you get the wrench also, like, without a doubt. I mean, you've been watching for months now. So, um. I got to bless you with that wrench. So just bear with me one second. Because if I'm not mistaken, even my boy Jay was like, yo, you got to get that wrench. And, um, you know, Jay's been rocking with me for a hot minute. So if Jay says you need that wrench, I'm going to listen to him. And he's right. You do need that wrench. Let's try to get to 100 likes. If you didn't hit that that like, let's do it. Let's get that going, guys. Let me... um. Okay, I ain't lying. Let me get you that wrench. Add his moderator. Okay, you're a moderator now. Bong. All right, you got your wrench. The left looks good. Dell's older content is some of the best around still. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Oh, Mr. Jones needs a wrench too. How the hell does Mr. Jones not have a wrench? Don't ever take it personal. If I don't give you a wrench, it's just, I'm not thinking about that shit, giving out wrenches and all of that. I know it's cool for y'all, but I just, I don't, you know, I'm just in my own little world. So um, there we go. I just gave Mr. Jones a wrench too. You will never have a wrench because you came in as a hater. Hello, my name. I'm just kidding. If you keep watching, you will get a wrench. If you keep coming in all the time, then you will get a wrench as long as you keep watching. Consistency. As long as you're here all the time, every stream, on the playback. If you can't come during the stream, pause, then on the playback. Um, he says, Dell's 
is a real um, OG on the foot looks. I was one of the first, definitely. But, I mean, what does that matter? You know what I mean? Yeah, like Mr. Jones is always up in here. You know, it's nothing personal. Sometimes I just... I'm not thinking about wrenches. I'm I'm trying to focus on putting together a good show for you all. Um, it's not easy to do these live streams. If if you think it is, then do it. Do the live stream. And um, that's a challenge. But not everyone can do live streams and be on stage live and do this shit. It's or else everyone would do the lives all the time. And I'm doing it by myself for the most part. A lot of these guys that do live streams. They are not doing it by themselves. They've got a panel of people. This is a one-man show. So you got to give me credit. You know what I'm saying? And I know there's other people that do the one-man shows. And and um, salute to them, too. You know what I mean? But it's not easy to do this shit. Or else everyone would. For sure. So did I cop today? Yes, I cop the PS um, G4. So let me turn this light on. So we got some, some more light on my beautiful face. So someone wanted to see these again. I ain't forget. I got good memory. I got good memory. See, the red on this isn't that bright. Like, it's not bright like that other shoe. You know what I mean? It's just not as bright. Let me show you these Kobe's. He says, Dells, you got a gift. Thank you, brother. I'm just trying to entertain you guys through these hard times. You know, we can't go out. We can't socialize. This is help. This helps a lot of people mentally. I've had people literally send me cash apps and tell me, yo, Dells, you actually helping my mental because I'm stuck home. I can't see my friends. I'm just like, you know, I'm I'm stuck here. So at least I feel like I'm hanging out with friends. You know, a lot of people say that because it's hard out here, man. We, I mean, a lot of people can't go out and chill right now. It's Saturday night. People are working all week and then they come home to the weekend. They're just home, you know? So um, I like doing this shit. I really do. Little Jawa, Jawa action. Let's see. I like this right here. I think this is dope. Shout out to Ali Frazier. Ali Frazier ain't in the chat. He must be busy, which is fine. That's good. He, he must be doing something good. Maybe eating some good food or something. I'm six years in following you, Dells. This is just a new YouTube account for me. Oh, salute, bro. He says, I'm down under. Yes, you are, brother. And I love that you in here. We got Jay up in here. We got a lot of a lot of lifers in here. I love it. I love it. Let's see what else I can show y'all. Oh, I found a chase in the wild today. Where is that chase? Uh, I don't even know where the fuck that is. Let's see. I'll show you guys these. They're just conveniently right here. Boom! Y'all better hit that F and thumbs up button for Christ's sakes. If you ain't hit the thumbs up, I'm showing you Eminem 2s right now. Who the hell's showing you Eminem 2s on the chat, man? People are going live. They talking about all the types of weird shit instead of sneakers. I'm showing you Eminem 2s. You better hit that F and thumbs up button. You better subscribe if you're new. You better turn the notifications on. And if you got an extra buck or two, send me that damn super chat or that cash app. Your boy put on that damn show here, man. Shit. Shit. Jesus. Who's showing you Eminem effing tunes? No one's showing you these shits. No one on YouTube doing this shit. People on YouTube too worried about fucking 
putting other people down, man, instead of bringing people up. I'm trying to bring people up. Real talk. What shoe is this? Let me know if you know. What shoe is this? Hopefully someone knows what shoe this is. Hell yeah, man. I'm putting in a lot of work today. You believe me. A lot of work is being put in today, bro. I got to get my eyebrows fixed. Jesus Christ. Yeah, these are the bad bunnies right here. Whoops. Damn. I did a review. Watch the review on this. Please watch the review on this. I worked really hard on it. It's a dope video. I show them glowing in the dark. I show the Red Octobers next to it glowing in the dark. It's a dope video. Okay, you got it right here. Bang. A Tribe Called Quest. Air Jordan 1. Great shoe. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I showed this already. Yep, you guys got it. Bong, bong. Calvin Bailey's. The Calvin Bailey's. All right, guys, I think we're going to break up out of here. Um, unless you guys want to put some coins in the meter, we'll stay longer. I'll show you more sneakers. But, um, yeah, we're going to break up out of here, I think. I'm going to give you a two-minute warning. Super chat, open for super chat. Super chats come in. We're going to hang out a little longer. I'll show you some more sneakers. If not, we'll do this again tomorrow, probably around 4 or 5 o'clock. Um, because we've been streaming for over an hour. So if you guys want me to stay longer, all I ask is for a super chat. Put some coins in the meter. If not, we're going to be back tomorrow. And we'll do it all over again. We'll do it all over again. No, it's a, it's a remake, the Chewbacca. This is um a remake of the Kenner joint. Um. I have a video you should check out, Easy um, Tino. It's called um, Show Us Your Gems. Show Off Your Gems. Excuse me. Show Off Your Gems. Search on YouTube. Show Off Your Gems, DJ Dells. I literally show you the craziest collectibles, sneakers to Chewbacca's hair, his actual fur from A New Hope, to autographs. It's a crazy-ass video. So definitely watch that video. Search. Show off your gems, DJ D-E-L-Z. You want to watch that. My goal is to own every Jordan 1 through 14. Yeah, that was my goal at one point. Um, and uh, obviously, I, I achieved that goal. Um, and you'll get there. You'll get there, bro. I think that owning 1 through 14 is dope. Like, I think everyone should... Try to own one through 14. They're all fire kicks. Like um, the Jordan 2, some people aren't too fond of the Jordan 2, but I think the Jordan 2 was um was crazy. Yes, thank you. And um, share the stream, share it on Facebook, Twitter, a friend, DM them the shit. Yo, check this out, man. Dell show crazy stuff, man. Um, yeah, you want to check that video out, man. I show crazy stuff. Um, actual stormtrooper 
you know, armor, like crazy shit, like from the movie. Oh, we got a super chat that came in. Show us your new foams, please. All right, we here. We staying. That's that's all I ask. That's all I ask of you. <laughs> he says, uh, next stream, Dells, you should show your Kanye collection. I will. I should do that. And um, thank you for that super chat, bro. We got to give you um, the proper thank you for the ultimate compliment. The ultimate compliment deserves ultimate Dells to come out. Let's go. So he wants to see some phone posits, Felix. So we're going to show him some phone posits. Thank you, Felix. Shout out to Felix M. Shout out to Felix M from your boy DJ Dells. You keep doing what you're doing, brother. I appreciate what you're doing, brother. Salute. So let's see. Let's show you some phone posits. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Classico, right here. The goat, the goat of phone posits. Say it ain't so. I would say so. The goat of phone posits. The Royals, the Almighty Royals. These are sick. One of the best, baby. One of the best. You want another foam? I'll show you one more. Maybe I'll show you two more. Bang. Oh, I may wear these tomorrow. The stormtroopers, I call these. <laughs> these shits are clean. Clean, baby. Oh, these are so clean. That Stormtrooper, baby. Damn, I'm showing a lot of effing heat. Are we at 100 thumbs up yet? Can we get there if not? I think we deserve 200 thumbs ups for all the sneakers I've shown. I really digged into this wall today. Shit, I'm showing y'all foams. I think I showed you four foam posits today. The whiteouts, they got a little yellow to them now, broski. Shout out to my dude, Henry, too. Henry, I got love for you, brother. Don't forget it. Let's see. Should I show another phone posit? Let's do it. I think I got one over here. Oh, yeah, we do. Ugh. Here you go, Felix. One more. Showed you three of them, baby. These are sick. These are DS as fuck. These are brand. Yo, you can eat off of this. You know what I'm saying? You can eat off this hoe right here. You can eat off this. Phone posits, I think, are comfortable. People be complaining they're not comfortable. I love phone posits. I got tons of foams, bro, like tons of them. I love them. Yeah, it's been a long time since Delzy showed off, like, a ton of phone posits. Like, I showed off a ton of them today. This is, like, the fifth or sixth phone posit. Like, I got shoes for days, man. I got sneakers for days, for years. Damn, they glowing in the dark over here in this corner over here. Let me put these shits away now. I got to get in the habit of putting them away after, or else later on I got a billion shoes all over the place. And I'm here putting them away by myself.
All right. Kiss the soul. No. I'm not kissing the soul. I'm not licking the soul. I'm not doing none of the sorts. I see heads licking souls for money. I ain't doing that shit. Salute to, if you like doing that, then do it. But I'm not doing that shit. You got to pay me a lot of money. And I'm talking thousands to, to lick a soul. I will not lick a soul like that. No way. I miss my pair. Sold them like an idiot. And listen, sometimes you got to sell your sneakers, man. Sometimes we got to get some quick cash, right? It happens, man. You know? I got the black ones. All right. That's what's up, dude. I have those too. Did I miss a super chat? No, no. And Felix is overseas, I just realized too. He said, you fulfilled my wish and deserve it. <laughs> Thank you, Felix. <laughs> yeah, I hooked you up. <laughs> I'm saying, man, if you guys show me love, I'll try to show it back two, two times worth. Thank you again, man. I appreciate that love for real. Salute to everyone up in here. You could be anywhere in the world and you're here with me, and I really do appreciate it. I don't mind the shoe, but I'm not paying over retail for them. I'm not paying over retail for them. That, that's my whole thing. Like, I'm not going to pay over retail for, for that shoe because they're, they're reselling for a pretty penny right now. Just kidding, big dog. What you say? I didn't even see what you said. Oh, kiss the soul. Just kidding. No, no, I know you kidding, bro. Come on, man. I got a sense of humor. Damn, I'm showing a lot of shoes. Are we at 100 likes yet? Are we? Or, like, that's sad if we're not. What's that? Pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread? I'm not eating. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. I'll, I'll, I'll eat this now. Thank you, baby. Christ the King. These are sick. They were supposed to come back out this year, I thought. That was the rumor, but they never did. Dells, would you rather buy a B-grade? or I'll buy a B-grade if it's made by Nike. I'm not buying unauthorized shoes. Shit is too, there's, you can't tell what, what's what anymore. It's too, it's too weird now with it, man. What can I do for free shoes? What you should do, he says, my ass is itchy. <laughs> Need some advice. Well, with your itchy ass, maybe baby powder, maybe. I don't know. I don't ever have an itchy ass, but I'm thinking of my kids. You know, we put baby powder in the diaper. My my son, you know, he's two years old. Maybe put some baby powder for you, for your booty. As far as free shoes, nothing in, in life is free, buddy. So what you should do is you should figure out a way to make money, all right? That's the best thing you need to do is figure out a way to make money. Let me try this. My daughter brought this up for me. This is pumpkin bread. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, B grades, it's still a Nike shoe. You know? You buying UAs, you don't know what the frig it is, right? Sometimes they claim that it's like, um, it's a legit shoe from the factory. They just like, you know, they took it off the mark. They didn't send it to Nike to sell. But you don't know what's real and what's not. That's why I only buy from, from um, you know, licensed retailers now.
Yeah, he says you better put your itchy ass to work. <laughs> Facts. Shit, you want some sneakers, you better get some money and work, bro. Work, man. Come on, man. What you in here for? Do something to make some money. Entertain people. Do something. Look at me, man. I'm out here entertaining people, man. You got to entertain people, man. Figure out a way. The best thing, I, the best advice I can give is, if, I'm dead serious for anyone. If you're looking to make money, right, extra money, think about something that you could offer people, a talent, something maybe knowledge-wise. Look. I realize there's a lot, I've met a lot of celebrities throughout my life. And I realize I could help a lot of these guys. They don't know how to edit videos. They don't know shit about YouTube, but every entertainer wants a YouTube channel. I started reaching out to all these entertainers. And before you know it, they're paying me money now to edit their videos, manage their YouTube channels. You got to figure out what you could offer to people as far as a service, and they could pay you in return. If you don't have any kind of skill, learn a skill that you could offer to people, something upstairs that you can offer people, and then bang, you're able to charge people. I'm about to offer people a seminar. We're going to do a seminar, people that are inspiring to be YouTubers. I'm going to have a seminar. It's going to be affordable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a seminar. It's going to be private, excuse me, out of birth, private classes where I'm going to teach you guys how to start a YouTube channel and how to do it properly. Because not everyone knows how to do it. I know some people are YouTubers. That, oh, this is easy shit. Not everyone thinks this shit is easy. So I'm going to be offering this seminar very soon. And it's not even going to cost a lot of money. All right? And it's going to be a It won't be a one-in-one -one seminar. It'll probably be in each class, six people. And if anyone's interested, you could already hit me up to sign up. Because I have people that already are ready to sign up for this seminar. Right there. I have a knowledge. I have things that I can help people with. You have to figure out how you can help people with their problems. If you're able to figure out how to help people with their problems, um, things they need help with, then you are able to offer a service where you can earn money that doesn't cost you money. You understand? I just showed a pair of LeBrons. How many sneakers you guys want me to show tonight, man? <laughs> One of the most underrated releases of this year. 100% one of the most underrated sneakers this year. I love this shoe. Love it. Absolutely love it. China Moon, please. I don't have the China Moons, believe it or not, Felix. I'm sorry. I would show you them. I don't have them. How many do I think I have all together? Sneaker-wise, I think I have about 500 shoes, give or take. I mean, I have sneakers in storage, in the storage unit, like at least 300 in the storage unit. Look, it's me, LeBron, when we were kids. <laughs> My favorite LeBron is the LeBron 9. I love the LeBron 9. That's my favorite LeBron. Love the LeBron 9. Some flints. These are the old flints. Without the reflective. They suck because they don't have the reflective. I mean, they don't suck. They're, they're still all right. I take that back. Cody Rhodes. Shit. 
All right, guys, listen, um, we're going to break up out of here. I'm going to give you a one-minute warning. You guys want me to stay? Super Chat, Cash App, um, and we'll stay. If not, we're going to break up out of here. We are um, well over an hour. We're at over an hour and a half. So um, if you want me to hang out longer, got no problem with it. All I ask is for a Super Chat or a Cash App. Put um, some money in the meter, and we'll hang out, man. I'll show you more and more kicks. But um, just show that love back. If not, yo, I had a blast hanging out. I know YouTube is kind of funny sometimes. They don't um, like like to tell people when I'm going live and everything. So what I ask for all of you to do so you don't miss out is follow my Twitter, which is at DJ Dells. It's on the screen. And follow my Instagram, which is real DJ Dells. What I will do is I always post on my stories. I try to at least. Yo, I'm about to go live. So that's like a five, 10 minute warning. I'm about to go live. And then on my Twitter, I'll tweet, yo, I'm about to go live also. So follow both of those accounts so that you get a heads up just in case YouTube doesn't notify you that I'm live. Um, and we also post tons of deals, like crazy deals on sneakers on my Twitter. So like you should follow my Twitter. You're, you're literally hurting yourself by not joining my Twitter because you're missing out on restocks. If I hear there's a restock, I post it on Twitter. If I hear about a great deal... Look, you can get um, like four pairs of Jordan shorts for like $70 with free shipping, something like that. That's on my Twitter feed right now. Four pairs of gym shorts, like Jordan gym shorts. Like, like everyone should be taking advantage of that. So definitely make sure you follow my Twitter. And my T-shirts till tomorrow are 20% off. That's the first link in the description box. Use the code FULL. It will also be pinned in the comment section when I get a chance. My t-shirts are fire, and these are just some of the designs. So definitely check out the t-shirts and um, show that love and support for real. You want to do that for real, for real. You definitely want to do that. And um, thank you all for tuning in. I had a blast. I hope that you all did too. Um, and, um, you know, we'll do this again tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see tomorrow. My favorite, he says his favorite LeBron is the four, by the way. Um Salute, man. Salute to everyone up in here. This was a good show tonight, all right? Thumbs up the vid. Share this Twitter, Facebook. DM this to a friend. Yo, watch this video. This guy showed so much heat. The only way we can get this channel to the next level is if we come together like Voltron and, and spread it around, man. Spread it around like mustard. Let everyone let everyone know. He said, PJ t-shirt, I'm on that. If you drop it, the PJ t-shirt's available. You could buy it right now. It's in the description box. Pick up the PJ t-shirt. It's the link in the description, not the advertisement that's on the screen. If you go in the description, it'll say 20% off my t-shirts. That's the link you want to do. That's a separate store. And the quality on those t-shirts are actually way better anyway. So that's available now. Go pick up a tee right now. Everyone should. You're going to get tons of compliments. I promise you that. You may break more necks off my tees than the, than the damn sneakers you're wearing. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. All right? Love y'all, for real. Thank you all for tuning in. You could be anywhere in the world and you're here with me and I damn would appreciate it. We out of here.